Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah, ma bad. Okay, so somebody asked, when looking for someone for marriage, what's the lowest you can drop your standards? Like, in terms of the deen, like, how much can you compromise? So, when you're picking someone, the person's deen is not fully up to scratch. You, you want to find someone with deen, but their deen's a bit low. Yeah. So, you're, you're trying to work out what's the minimum deen you can f- accept yes. in a person. Yes. When you want to get married, okay. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah, amma ba'ad. Basically, the way it works is this, yeah, is that there's a baseline. There's a baseline. When we talk about someone who's got religion, there's a baseline. If you fall below that baseline, if you fall below that threshold, then that person is a big fat no. You, 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 you can't marry that person anymore. That person is not a person who satisfied the criteria of religion, do you see? So, what is that baseline? That baseline is two things. It is that the person does everything Allah commanded him or her. And that person stays away from everything Allah prohibited. So every wajib he or she does, every haram he or she stays away from. Now that's not to say sometimes, you know, we're going to fall into sins, right? Every now and again, if a person falls into sin, that just means that person is human as long as they make tawbah. But if a person is consistently not doing certain wajibat, certain obligations, certain commands... Or he or she is consistently falling into certain prohibi- prohibitions. Then you shouldn't go there. And that person's not got religion. They haven't satisfied. They've got religion, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, they're not kufar, yeah. but they've dropped below the threshold. That person is not a person that is good to marry. Okay? Yeah. So if they're not praying. I mean, if a person who doesn't pray, they've dropped below the threshold of even being a Muslim. Because as you know, the Sahaba believe by unanimous agreement that anyone who leaves the prayer is not even a Muslim. Yeah. Okay, so there's a big question mark on is this person even a Muslim? Let alone can you marry them? But the zakat and the hajj and the fasting, of course, the men should go their beard, the women should have their trousers above their ankle. Should they be listening to music? Should they be doing this? Sisters should be wearing hijab, should be covering, they should be fully modest, wearing the, jil- the jilbab, the correct clothing, they should be wearing it, not wearing makeup, not wearing perfume when she goes out. You know, these kind of things. Yeah. She's got to be, you know, good. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. um, anything below that is a problem. And you know why this is so important? It's because remember Allah has rights And then the husband and the wife have rights When you get married You want someone to fulfill your rights Your needs For example You know you want love You want respect You want intimacy You want to be taken care of This is something you can only find from this person If this person doesn't fulfill the rights of Allah How are they going to fulfill your rights? Do you see? Yeah. That's why it's important that when you marry someone You marry someone with as much religion as they can If you drop below the threshold of religion if you drop below the first shoulder of religion, you know what happens? You're going to have a person who's going to treat you bad as well. He or she couldn't treat Allah well. Couldn't do what Allah asked them. How are they going to treat you well in marriage? Who's more deserving to be treated well? Allah or you? Do you see? She couldn't honor her Lord. He couldn't honor his Lord. How is, she, how is he or she going to honor you? Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. So, I, what does I say? I don't want anyone who's listening who may be a little bit not practicing to be demotivated. You know? That uses as a motivation to increase yourself. Okay, we're not all perfect. I'm not sitting here perfect. Yeah, definitely. You know? yeah. Allah, yeah, I'm far from perfect. But this is for my sisters who themselves, you know, like honestly, Allah, when I look at myself, I don't look at myself as I feel like I'm on the threshold. I don't. I see myself to be a very evil person. You have, I know the reality of my own nature. So don't think I'm judging you. But I'm saying you know your. And it's, Allah said, insan wa ala nafsihi basira. The human being knows his situation better than anyone else. So you know that. Okay, look, my iman might be a bit low. Right. Let me up it. Because when you get married and your relationship with Allah is strong, Allah is going to give you someone who's also got a strong relationship. And because you are taking care of Allah's rights, Allah is going to give you someone who's going to take care of yes. your rights. So I hope that answers the question. So actually from this you can see that religion is very important. Um, and of course we're going to go into this in a lot more detail, a lot more detail on the Game of Marriage program. And then all the other characteristics that you need to look at in order to find a spouse. Other than religion as well, because there's religion and other things as well. We're going to go into it in a lot more detail in the Game of Marriage program, which is right now available for everyone, inshallah ta'ala. But you cannot compromise between that threshold. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. I hope you benefited from that short QA session. If you would like to learn more about marriage, inshallah ta'ala, um, and the various things pertaining to it that will allow you to have a healthy relationship between you and your, your future spouse or your already spouse, if you're already married, then I would. Recommend that you check out our marriage course on the Muslim Survival Guide, which is called The Game of Marriage, in which we basically go through an overview and A to Z of the necessary important things that everyone needs to know before they get married and for when they are actually married as a 
as a couple to have a healthy relationship. Right now, that, that program is actually available for free. But right now, this offer is only available for the next seven days. So if you want to have free access, go ASAP to the link below, inshallah ta'ala, and register. Inshallah ta'ala, we see you on the other side.